All right, so one more example here of finding vertical asymptotes. Again, uh, what we're looking for, we're trying to find those values that uh, make the numerator not zero, but the denominator equal to zero. So in this case, we've got y equals x squared minus 7x plus 12 um, over x squared plus 2x minus 15. So hopefully this factors without too much trouble. So let's see, two numbers that multiply to positive 12 but add up to negative 7. Let's see, I don't think 1 and 12 work. Some combination of 2 and 6, I don't think so. Oh, I think 3 and 4 would be the numbers um, that we could use. And since they have to uh, you know, multiply to a positive, I either need two negatives or two positives. But since the middle sign is negative, they would both have to be negative. So let's see, maybe we can factor the denominator as well. So x and x. So two numbers that multiply to negative 15 but add up to positive 2. I think, uh, let's see, so 1 and 15 doesn't work. Uh, how about some combination of 3 and 5? And in this case, since the, uh, the number that we have to multiply to is negative, one will have to be positive, one will have to be negative. But since the middle term is positive, that means that the larger of those two numbers will have to be positive. So I think this is now a correct factorization. So what we can do is just, again, kind of cancel out the common factors. And we would be left with x minus 4 over x plus 5. So in this case, uh, if we set the denominator equal to 0, well, that would just tell us that x equals negative 5. And again, you can check that it doesn't make the numerator equal to 0. Again, we've canceled out the common factors. So in this case, we would have a single vertical asymptote at, uh, the, at the, the line x equals negative 5.